All right, we have Chebyshev's theorem. Um, so this is uh, kind of like the empirical rule that tells us with normal distributions what percent of the data lies within a certain distance from the mean. Um, the advantage of Chebyshev's is it works with any distribution. It, it's true for normal distribu uh, normally distributed data. It, it's true for data that we have no idea what the distribution is, for really weird distributions. Um, you, you need to know nothing about the distribution whatsoever, and you, you can be rest, rest assured that Chebyshev's theorem will apply to it. Now, the results aren't quite as precise or strong as the empirical rule, uh, but the downside of the empirical rule is it only applies to normally distributed data. So this works with any data set. So how does it work? Uh, let, me, let me pull in some, some stuff here I've already calculated. So this is what the theorem says. So the theorem says that this percent of the data down here, um, grab my brush here, this percent of the data um, in a distribution are within k standard deviations. And notice that k shows up as part of the, the formula here. Um, and, and k needs to be a number greater than 1. doesn't need to be an integer, by the way. But let's take a look for a couple integer values. If k is 1, this thing will give you 0%, which is meaningless, doesn't, doesn't help you. So let's, let's ignore that. Let's take a look at 2 and 3. When we plug 2 in for k here, we're going to get 1 minus 1 over 2 squared, um, which would be 1 minus 1 fourth, which is 3 fourths, which gives us 75%. So remember, in a normal distribution, uh, the empirical rule tells us about 95% of the data uh, is within two standard deviations of the mean. And, th and that's an about. It's not an at least. It's, it could be a little less, could be a little more. Um, if it's perfectly normally distributed, you know, right at 95%. Uh, Chebyshev's is a little different. It's giving us a lower bound. So at least, at least 75%. Um, it cannot be less than 75%. Uh, we plug 3 in, similar type of thing, we're going to get 88.9%. So in any distribution, being more than 3 standard deviations away from the mean is, is pretty rare. Uh, certainly not guaranteed as rare as, as it would be in the normal distribution, uh, but still a uh, fairly rare, rare case. So when we have a problem, um, we're, we're looking at what, what percent of the fares lie between these two amounts. Um, there's lots of different ways to do it. The one way that I might recommend here, let me, that should work, um, is take, take the top one. So 33, 33, 28, and see how far we are away from the mean. So in this case, it's uh, 26, 20 is the average. Um, and then we're gonna divide by the standard deviation. And, and why we're doing this, we're trying to figure out how many standard deviations we are away from the mean. So to do that, we see how far we are away from the mean, and then we divide by standard deviations to, to give us our, what's called our k value here, the number of standard deviations away from the mean. Uh, so if we do this, uh, in this particular case, we're going to end up with two. Um, so if we are two standard deviations away from the mean, now we, we could check to make sure that this is two standard deviations below the mean. If we took um, 1912 minus 2620 and divided by this, we should get negative two, which we will, you can, you can check it out. Um, so this tells us that we're right here in our Chebyshev chart. So this chart will be true. You might as well copy this chart over here into your, your notes because um, it's, it's always going to be true. Now, a lot of times you're going to be in between and not exactly on a particular value, uh, integer value of k, uh, but it's nice to kind of have this as a reference. And in this case, we do fall. We're, we're exactly at two standard deviations, so the answer to this first one would be that 75% of the measurements are going to be in between those two numbers. Uh, now, with the second one here, we're going to get something that's not Wait on one of our boundary points. So we're going to take this and see how far away we are from the mean. And you can multiply that out on your, your calculator. Uh, you should get 1.5. Uh, so then you're, you're going to have to 
use this theorem here by plugging that 1.5 in 4k. So you're gonna get 100 times one minus one over, I think you get 2.25 there when you square your, your k. Uh, and then when you multiply all that out, you should get um, this answer right here. This is our, when we apply Chebyshev's theorem, uh, we should get something about, whoops, I guess we're doing percents, 55.56%, it's five repeating here. Um, and that that seems about reasonable because we're, uh, we're between one and two, so it should certainly be less than 75%. Uh, so we know that over half the data is, um, is within one and a half standard deviations of the mean in, in any data set, again, doesn't depend on the distribution. Uh, let's go ahead and enter uh, these numbers here. So this one was exactly two standard deviations, so we're hitting that 75%. This one we're gonna round up to the nearest percent to get 56%, okay? Uh, these are a little, little tricky at first. Um, they involve a little bit of algebra. Um, so give them some practice and do email me if you start running into problems consistently with them.